Russian forces bomb school where 400 people were taking shelter in Mariupol. Here's a summary of the article. Ukrainian officials have said Russian forces bombed a school where 400 people were taking shelter yesterday. The attack comes after the mayor of Mariupol said Russian forces forcefully deported several thousand people from the besieged city last week. After Russia had spoken of refugees arriving from the strategic port, the city's mayor Vadim Boychenko compared the actions of Russian forces to the Nazis capturing and deporting civilians during the Second World War. The mod said this morning that Russian forces were encircling a number of cities in eastern Ukraine. In its latest update on the conflict the mod said, Over the past week Russian forces have made limited progress in capturing these cities. Instead, Russia has increased its indiscriminate shelling of urban areas resulting in widespread destruction and large numbers of civilian casualties. It is likely Russia will continue to use its heavy firepower to support assaults on urban areas as it looks to limit its own already considerable losses, at the cost of further civilian casualties. The Ukrainian leader has also said the siege of Mariupol will go down in history for war crimes committed by Russian troops. Russian forces advanced deeper into Ukraine's besieged and battered port city, with heavy fighting shutting down a major steel plant there. This post received a score of 34,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Over 80% of residential buildings in Mariupol are now confirmed damaged or destroyed. We need another Nuremberg trial. If Russia wins, we never get a Nuremberg trial. Instead, Russia will have their own trials where they execute Ukrainian Nazis like Zelensky live on TV. That's why we need to make sure Ukraine wins. The West needs to be firm on the sanctions. No releasing sanctions until they hand Putin and his generals over to Haig. And his commanders also if possible. I don't think Nuremberg is the right choice. That was in Germany for Germans. Haig is international. Have the Europeans fully cut off their gas? Not yet. They're working on it. Germany has reduced Russian gas imports by something like 50% pretty good progress considering they've been paralyzed making any progress for like a decade. Please correct me if I'm wrong but what I understood is some German experts said they could reduce imports by 50%. It's not done at all yet. Oh I think you're right. Thanks. Still, 50% in a year is pretty good considering things weren't moving before that. Uh, what he's saying is that they say they could do this but they don't seem to have done it yet. We could have reduced the impact of climate change if nations met their respective emission targets. But most nations aren't doing so and so we're going to be in for a fun ride a few decades down the line. TLDR if Germany does cut 50%, good on them. But praising them for saying they could do this before they actually do it is premature. They're not saying they will do it in a vacuum. The perception of the wider security situation has changed. There is no chance it will not happen. Fair but wait for them to act before heaping praise on them. Holy shit, every day they seem to be committing more and more war crimes. Sadly, yeah. Uh, among other things we need to do. I think it. It's important that we continue to raise awareness of them. Talking about them here is a small, small start. I am gradually getting more and more concerned that all these war crimes are just getting quickly forgotten. What is happening right now in Ukraine now is absolute madness. Life is sometimes brutal, but we don't. T have to accept it as it is. Still 1,000 civilians unaccounted for in the Mariupol concert building bombing. They have only been able to pull 130 people out of the rubble even though it's been several days since it was bombed. The building had children written on the ground outside of it and the city administration had posted videos and statements clearly stating it was a location for civilians to shelter. This school bombing of 400 civilians combined with the over 1,000 civilians bombed at the concert building shows the Russian military command is targeting the civilian population as an extortion tactic to force the city to surrender. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.